in the stream, you mentioned that cleaning your room was good mindset practice for trading. Do you have any other mindset tips for everyday life? Um, yeah, so I do meditate every day. When I wake up in the morning and uh, have some breakfast, I do meditate. That is my routine as a mindset. Um, and also, um, in terms of the mindset uh, tips, right? So that would be also cleaning desk is for sure. I keep cleaning my desk whenever I trade. Also, cleaning helps a lot. Like a cleaning a bed after wake up also helps a lot. Psychologically, it's proved in one of these articles. I really, I was reading some article the other day, and it says uh, after wake up in the morning, clean, clean your bed. Never keep the mess in the bed, but clean the bed, and then start the day. And then that refreshes the mind. So I do that also. Um, and also, um, this is not only about the trading but also about everything to focus about the focus is that i never eat full st full stomach um, i eat only like a 70 percent or 80 percent stomach full and so that i can keep sharp on, on whatever i do especially forex trades whenever i start the forex trades whenever i see screen charts or before the live stream starts like this whenever i want to focus on one thing I never uh, be full stomach. So that's also something that I practice. Um, yeah, and also, uh, you know, just always relax. Always relax and always know that, you know, tomorrow will come is also the big tip on the mindset. Yeah, when you lose three times per day, when you lose account, you may think it's in the in, it's the end of the world, but actually it's not. Tomorrow will come, so never chase the profit. Never, never uh, revenge trades. Never, um, uh, never try to try to um, win back the losses. But uh, always follow your rules with discipline, and because tomorrow will come, is my mindset. So sometimes, you know, today's at the today's uh, GTS discussion, um, one of the members uh, told me that you know when when I have to be away from the chart for whatever reasons, maybe my wife is calling me to go out, or whenever I have to do something else, uh, what should I do? You know, and for me, I simply stay away. I take a day off on the trace, but I check charts at least once or twice per day. That's for sure. But it doesn't mean that I will take a trade. I do check charts every day, once or twice, or three times, because I want to update myself. I want to keep myself updated on the moving markets, but I don't take a trade. So let's say today, after this live, if someone calls me and asks me to go out, and then if it's welcomed for me, then I just, I just go. Let's say today's market closed, but let's say today's Wednesday, a market's active. Let's say JPY pair is going up. Then uh, if my friend called me up and invite me for dinner, and if I'm, I feel welcome, then I would just go and come back to charts tomorrow. That's what I do. And after I come back to chart tomorrow, let's say the market was strongly bullish. But I don't really feel anything, to be honest, because uh, today the market may continue to be uptrending and then I will simply take trades. And I don't feel really I lost these pips anymore because this is in the past. So I only see the future, but I never see the past. I never see the past charts. I never uh, dream to be able to trace in the past charts i never do that in my mind so you know my my trade starts from today right now let's say i wake up in the morning and check charts like this if i happen to see um let's see if i happen to find that the uh 
let's say Euro JPY is going down nicely like a couple of days ago like this. If I this, see this, this one like this, okay, daily is going down nicely, one hour is going down nicely. Okay, so I will be ready to trade. And then when I was looking at the five minute chart, my friends called me up or my wife calls me and invite me for lunch or dinner. And then I just close. I just close it and never look at the chart anymore until I can do it next time. So this is also my mindset. And that's why uh, I think I can be profitable every month. Yeah, if I still rush to trade or if I still think about the market while I'm talking with my wife or friends or family or somebody else, then I might not be able to make profit this much. This is about the psychology between yourself and the markets. And I think that's very important. Thank you for watching the video until the end, but before ending, let me briefly share with you one important concept of mine as a pro trader. That is, I am not focusing on one single trade result, but my main focus is a result over time. Because most of the traders only focus on one single trade result or a couple of trades results, whether it's a win or loss, and they tend to get emotional from trade to trade. And they don't really focus on the result in the long run. So remember to focus on your trades results over time, at least for a month, and don't get emotional by a result of one single trade. If you liked today's video, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I keep uploading a new video or as I do the next live. So I wish you a great trade success on your way and I hope to see you on the next live or video. Alright, so until then, stay gold and またね!